Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. Coming to you live once again from the artist's back deck in beautiful Canton, Ohio. Here he is, that passionate digital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Hey Xavier, how are you doing? Great, Jeff, how are you? I am great. How's everybody out there? It's another week. Here we are again. It was a, a, a super weekend, long weekend. It was Memorial Day weekend. Thank you to all of our veterans and all of those who currently serve. We greatly appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And also, it was both Xavier and I. Our mutual anniversaries. <laughs> yes, exactly. And Xavier and... That is to our wives, not to each other, <laughs> just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our, yeah, we're only at two. No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, no. Xavier and his wife are ce celebrated their 29th. They went out to dinner and had, and, and then myself and my wife, uh, we celebrated our 27th. We have kind of a dyslexic thing between the, our, 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 the couples is my anniversary is... May 24th, 1986. And mine is May 26th, 1984. So that's just so scary. The stars aligned <laughs> when we became friends. It was just, it's like there was a power or whatever. So anyways, so we had, we had the anniversaries and then we went down in between the anniversaries. We went down on Saturday night and saw uh, Xavier and his wife's friends. Joe Williams and his band Deepwater. That's Joe and Connie Williams and Rich and Carol Smith. And listen to some pretty fine progressive bluegrass music, both covers of you know, popular known artists as well as Joe and Connie's original music. And it was quite a fun evening. It was. Great evening, definitely. Some good music, got to see him perform besides Xavier's living room. So uh, <laughs> I will have some stuff posted because because I got some stuff. <laughs> so anyways, getting on to this week, this, this last week, uh, very exciting. I'm getting a lot of stuff done, learning a lot of different things. But the main thing was I had my meeting at a place called the Launch House. The Launch House is up in Shaker Heights. And it is a seed capital investment fund, a business accelerator, and a co-working space. And it, it's just, I, I'm, I met uh, Sam Khrushchevsky through my wife, one of, through a business acquaintance that my wife, and found, found out about it. He kind of saw what I did, and then she told me what he did, and we kind of got together. And it's a very creative way to do business. And it's the, the creativity that exists there kind of transitions and would make a sense that you could take that same thing that they're using for business, which is an advertising type atmosphere to jumpstart businesses and put them all together in one space where they can brainstorm. So if they could do that with, with that type of work and be that creative, why not take the business of art and push, put my skills and what I bring to the table and treat it like a business, but at the same time, it's on the creative end of, you know, you're being creative, but it just, it just makes kind of good sense. So, and I think there's a certain synergy given how much it would appear from their website that the launch house makes use of social media and we've expounded many times social media in the art world both as a mechanism to move art as well as the subject of many of your pieces yes and and so i have another meeting coming up with dark caldwell and he's the more uh sam is is more of the business uh he runs a lot of different things he's going out promoting he's dealing with the branding of the launch up and and dar one of the founders he is kind of a 
he's gonna he's gonna look at what I'm doing and we're gonna come up with hopefully a couple of events that everybody can come to if they want to and kind of a, a, a game plan for the future of what I'm gonna do so I'm really excited about this that, I am too that sounds very exciting I'll have complete details hopefully after talking to Dar or almost complete details and this is gonna kind of get off the ground this is gonna take my social media multimedia series and execute it the way that I always envisioned it plus get it in front of the right type of people so I'm pretty excited about that and coming up I, I mean that this this is something this is a new way to sell or not or promote art not just just not just about but but overall because I mean to a business type atmosphere it will be about selling the art at the same time now I it's going to be tricky and unique because it's dealing with fine art and I'm not looking to do the the, the normal business plan like everybody does ma massive amounts of prints and setting up an, a, a business and then make canvases and get lot I'm more looking at it, it from the creative personal level of creating a fine artist but actually using the business a business plan which is not always how fine artists go about things about doing that type of stuff so that's where we are for this week it was it's it's been as far as creating art it's been a little bit slow I'm I'm thinking about I I'm working gonna I got a some reference for my next painting that I'm gonna enter into uh, the show at my gallery coming up so I've found the reference for that so now I'm gonna be painting that and the in-between of getting this event or getting into the launch house and getting ready to go there so I'm keeping all the creative juices flowing kind of not hitting the pavement pounding hard on the painting yet but more having working on a painting while I'm doing this so I feel productive at the same time so I guess my thoughts were a little discombobulated in that last part, but that's me, computer art man. <laughs> it's not discombobulated, you're just passionate. Yes. So anyways, that's another week. That's a wrap. Thanks, folks.